Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial on memorizing the Pythagorean identities for your trigonometry class. And so let us begin. Now rather than cramming this information in constant repetition, we are going to be uh, learning this in a different method by creating a story in our head that will help us recall the identities whenever we need them. Let's go ahead and start off. So first of all, in all the th uh, putting all the three functions together, or the three identities, we come across sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Now instead of memorizing these as sine, cosine, and what they for what they are, we're going to make this a lot easier and uh, create references, reference words to these functions that we can use in our story then to put the identities together. The word sine, read out loud, sounds like sin, and sin is bad, right? And so sine just reminds me of bad people. Moving on to cosine. Cosine strikes me as though if it's the opposite of sine, and so I would call cosine a good person or good people. Good people. Tangent. Read out loud, it sounds like tan, like tanning in the sun. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to call this tanning. And let's just draw a little sun here so you know what I'm talking about. Cotan, right? Read out loud, it sounds like cot or cut. And so that's what we're going to be using to remember that word. Secant. Read out loud, sounds like sec. And if we add in one more letter, it sounds like sexy. And so that's exactly what we're going to refer this to. Secant is sexy. Cosecant. Uh, that, it's like secant, but a coat, a C in front of it. And I'll just call this counter sex, like the opposite of secant. And so counter sexy. So not sexy at all. And uh, this may seem very foolish and silly, but believe me, it's going to help us uh, create a story that will allow us to uh, remember these things. So let's go ahead and start off with the first function, or the first identity, sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals to 1. Now, remember, sine is bad people, right? So let's go ahead and label this right off the bat. Sine is bad people, right? Cosine is good people, good people. Okay, so this is how I remember this. Bad people plus good people equal one, right? S equals people altogether. So you, you can't have a world without bad people and you can't have a world without good people. So bad people plus good people balance, them, balance themselves out into just one face of humanity. So you can just refer to that one as balance. Right, so bad people plus good people uh, are balanced out into one, into one face of humanity. Now one thing you should note and you should remember is that the Pythagorean identities have a degree of two followed after every single function. So if sine squared of theta, cosine squared of theta, tan squared of theta, it would actually be squared of theta, cotangent squared of theta, secant squared of theta, and cosecant squared of theta. That's just how Pythagorean identities work. And so just keep that in mind. So to remember the first one, it's bad people plus good people equals one face of humanity. And now you just remember the very first identity function. If you just remember that story, you can recall it at any time you need. Moving on to identity number two in our list, and it's tangent squared of theta plus one equals secant squared of theta. Okay, all right. We say that tan is literally tanning, right? It's like tanning in the sun, right? And secant, we said that was sexy. Now, how do I remember this function? Okay, this is what it, this is what goes through my head. Okay, a person who tans, right, at least once in the summer is going to look sexy for the season. So, tanning at least once this plus one it equals sexy right so just by thinking of it that way you you just memorize the second identity in the Pythagorean identities list and let's move on so having said that also don't forget that degree of two I just can't stress this enough don't forget the degree of two because that's how Pythagorean theory uh, identities work 
and um, the theta comes right after the um, the identity. I mean, right after the function. Okay, moving on to number three, our very last identity. You see, you've already memorized one into, and that was what, like three minutes? Okay, identity number three: cotangent squared of theta plus one equals cosecant squared of theta. And if at the and we be established from the very beginning that cot sounds like cut, and so let's just put cut. And cosecant sound it's like counter sexy. Let's just put counter sexy. Okay, this is how I remember this one. Okay, a person who cuts themselves on purpose at least once is not sexy. It's not sexy to do so. And so just cutting oneself at least once on purpose, I don't know why we would, equals counter sexy. And that is how I remember the third identity. And, and, and once you begin to just kind of memorize these things, it will come to you. You'll no longer even have to refer to the stories to try to memorize them. It'll just be stuck in your head. And so let's go ahead and quickly recap. Sign are bad people, cosine are good people. Add them together and you make one face of humanity. That's the first identity. Second identity, people who tan at least once in the summer are gonna look sexy for the whole entire season, okay? And third and last one, coat means cut, and people who cut themselves at least once on purpose are considered counter sexy or not sexy. Don't forget the degree of two, don't forget to put that theta, and you are now done, and you just memorized the three different identities for the Pythagorean I identities list. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, I should also note that uh, two and three, the one, the plus one, it can actually be interchanged. It could be one plus tan squared of theta and one plus cotan squared of theta. So if you see them written as this way, it's the same exact thing. Generally, we're just switching these two around, which does not make a difference at all. And so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below, and I hope this was helpful.